Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Dom. This is Rockin' the Country. I am doing a gift request today. Mac Alarda requested that I do Jamie Lynn Wilson's song, Roses by the Dozen. I don't know this. I've reacted to Jamie Lynn before, a number of times actually, but I don't know this one. So let's just get into this. Matt, shout out to you. Thank you for the gift, my friend, and for the secondary request. Here we go. Quasi Western feel. You thought you'd get the last word, but I got there first. And you don't have much to say now, 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 now. I took that hurt, couldn't get. That is creative use of language and thought. The thing about forgiveness, it ain't coming from my lips. But you know, silence is made of gold, 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 gold. Wow, you cool. were relentless, and dust don't sink shit. I did not expect this. I mean, I did not. Roses by the Dozen, you're expecting a love song. The way this thing started right away, you're like, what? How does that title connect to where she's going with this thing? And she sure went there. That's brilliant. Hey. You know, when somebody dies, you know, it's like, oh, six feet under, they're different expressions. But another one is like pushing up daisies. This, the way this was used, it's almost like their dead love is now pushing up roses that other people are using to express their love for one another. And sometimes you'll pick one for the one you're loving, as she said, or, do, or by the dozen. But he needed some confession. She didn't say what about, but 
obviously, I mean, a love gone wrong. And uh, goodness gracious, man. <laughs> There's, there are lyrics, then there are lyrics, then there are lyrics. And these are lyrics. These are, <laughs> this is an abnormal use of linguistic comprehension. And it's, I don't know if it's outside my pay grade. It's certainly not outside my appreciation pay grade. But when I think if I were to enter this genre uh, or this medium of writing and using language, which, which would be songwriting, I don't think I have it. I mean, I have, I have a certain level of it that I could uh, do. And I've written a couple of hundred songs, uh, lyrics to them. But this is a different conceptualization of how to form thoughts in an economy of words. Uh, I don't know. I just marvel at it. I just do. I love excellence. I love people who excel, like exceed my ability in any area. I don't care what it is because it inspires me. In the least case, I can ogle it. Like, oh my God, that is so good. Like, that's one of the things that, like, jealousy steals from people. Like, when people are jealous of other people, what they have, man, does it steal so much fun, inspiration, happy thoughts that you could have, like appreciation for other people who are so good in a certain way. And uh, I don't know who wrote it. You know, Matt, you could fill me in on that if you want. You don't have to. But you, you know I don't research all this stuff. I don't want to know about songs before I go into them. I just like to, for this reason, you see my experience, you see my reaction on this, I'm just happy to have experienced that. If I had preconceived notions of what to look for or what might be going on, I wouldn't have had the same unbridled virginal reaction. So, all right, I'm going to rate this. The number that popped in my head was a 9.5. I mean, the instrumentation was wonderful. There was a foreboding. It wasn't completely negative but it was not positive it sort of told the story of a dead or dying love in a semi-flowery way which fits with the theme so you all can thank matt gallardo for that one that was a brilliant song so matt thank you again my friend have a great day folks i'll see you on another video keep rocking the country